And they are afraid to come forward because of people in power and the fear that they're going to lose their jobs, that their reputations will be tarnished, and for fear that persons like President Trump, who himself, uh, you know, by his own admission, has taken advantage of women, that they will be heard and their voices will be louder and that women will be seen as making things up as being less than or, has at, or as having asked for it. And so one of the ways that we can start is by talking women talking to our daughters and telling them about the situation that occurred to me. I once had a man, a family, a, a family member through law, say to me, how did you get to know the mayor? How did you get to know the governor? Wow. How did you get them to pay you so much? Do you go down on your knees? Wow. Family member. Family member. Extended family member. And I had to look at him and say, no, I work hard and I pray a lot. To which he responded, this was a, an in-law, to which he responded, that's right, your daddy knew a lot of people. Mm -hmm. This is what we get as women at every turn. Mm -hmm. And we have to tell the story and stand up against it. Wow. Let's go back to the phones. Let's go to a mock in Baltimore, WOLB 1010, home of Senator Larry Young. How you doing, Rev? And I'm, I'm good. good. I'm good. How you doing? I'm great, man. I'm, I'm glad all this substance is coming out. Um, from your guests on on the women issue, what Donald Trump is doing, um, uh, Red, he's trying to distract every chance that that he gets. You know, he tried it with the, you know, coming out about the president. He tried it with uh, uh, Susan Rice, and now he's trying it with this. He has the least credibility, and I'm not going to get distracted too much by this him. He has the least credibility. He's the guy that was caught on tape and with an old five. Uh, you know, saying because he was a star, he could grab women by the private parts. Wow. Right, right. His third wife and new wife was pregnant. So that's mm -hmm. all I'm going to say about that. Um, this, you know, I, I applaud the the, uh, the Democrats, Rev. I'm so glad they finally got a backbone. Uh, Chuck Schumer is a, a breath of fresh air. He didn't cave to uh, uh, Chuck Todd on, on, the, uh, on the issue. He, he said, if you... Um, don't get 60 votes. Don't change the rules. Change the nominee. He said right. the, the Re Republicans need to sit down with the Democrats because uh, the lady tried to say that the Democrats and the Republicans, they always trying to throw them together, trying to say that they, the Democrats were doing the same thing. They're not doing the same thing. They didn't give uh, Mr. Mr. Garland uh, a hearing or nothing. And the Democrats got to stay strong. And this give us a, a great reason to go out in 2018 and, and make sure we take the House and Senate back because Donald Trump, um, I take my hat off to Rachel and you and, and, and everybody, man. I was watching Rachel Friday, uh, Reverend Al, or, or whenever the championship game, and I was getting ready to turn to the championship. I thought I was watching a spy documentary, and it's sad. Yeah, I know. I know oh, you yeah, she documented. <laughs> yeah, I don't care where I am in the road. I watch Rachel. She lays it out. In fact, I had her on my show the other Sunday because That's she right. lays it out right. unlike anybody else. No, you're right. Thank you, Mark. Right. And, and right. I think, I, think that that no, I just want to add. I'm not saying that the Democrats did this. What I what I was trying to help people appreciate is that the nuclear option was not just invoked by the Republicans that it had been invoked before. The Democrats felt that they had reason to do it and it just set the ball in motion. That's Let's take a break. We'll be right back. One eight seven seven five three two.